Yes. Now we'll discuss about the anatomy of humerus. Part one. First of all, we make a diagram. Anterior view of the humans. Now Posterior view of the humerus. Here is posterior view of the humerus. This is posterior view of the humerus. So anterior view, this is posterior view of the humerus. Here is a division of the humerus. Above this line, this is upper end. This is upper end. Below this line there is lower end and in between these two this is shaft. In upper end, first of all we will discuss about the upper end. This is upper end, this line of division between upper end and shaft of the humerus, this is known as surgical neck. This is surgical neck. This imaginary line lies between the upper end and shaft of the humerus. There is another neck here. This is anatomical neck. This is known as anatomical neck. This anatomical neck lies between this is head between head and the rest part of the upper end of the humerus. So this is upper end. This is the rest part of the upper end. This is head. It lies between head and rest part of upper end of the humerus. This is anatomical neck. And if you have cut the coronal section, you will find another neck which represents epiphyseal line. It lies about 0.5 cm above the surgical line, this is known as morphological neck. So this is surgical neck, this is morphological neck and this is anatomical neck. So the, these are three necks present in the upper part of the humerus. Other features of the upper part of the humerus, 
Here is head. This is anatomical leg. This is morphological leg. And this is surgical leg. And here is elevation. This is this is known as greater tubercle. Greater tuber. This is greater tuber. And the elevation is this is lesser tuber. This is lesser tuber. This is lesser tuber. This is greater tuber. This is lesser tuber. And between these two vertebrae, this. This is a groove. This is a groove. This is known as bicipital groove. This groove is known as bicipital groove. It is also known as intertubercular sulcus because it lies between the Two tubercles. This is lesser tubercle. This is greater tubercle. So known as intertubercular sulcus or bicipital groove. If you trace this groove downward here, then you will find there is a lip. This is medial lip. This is lateral lip, and this is floor. This is central part is floor. Floor of the intertubercular sulcus or bicipital groove. This is floor of the bicipital groove. This is medial lip of the bicipital groove. This is lateral lip of the bicipital groove. If you see on posterior side of the upper end, here is position of anatomical leg, and here is impression for. Three muscle. This is greater tubercle and posterior side. This is greater tubercle and rear side. This is posterior. Here three impressions are present, and these three impression here supra spinatus. Supra spinatus muscle attached. Here is infra spinatus. And here is teres minor. Three muscles are inserted here. You can remember this by sit. Yes, I T. Supra spinatus, infra spinatus, and teres minor. So this is. Uh, Structure attached on the greater tubercle. This is lesser tubercle. Here, one muscle is attached. This is subscapularis. This is subscapularis. On lesser tubercle, muscle attached subscapularis. So this is all about the. Upper end of the human.